Here in the background there's my brain displayed in nice colors and in this section of the lecture series on programming with MATLAB or TAFE we are looking at how to display matrices and uh, images. So let's get started. So we'll, as always, we we'll start with a blank MATLAB or Octave screen and try to figure out um, uh, what we need to know. So let's start with the matrix and we just define that. Um, for instance, this three times three matrix. Here it is. And we would like to display that in false uh, colors. The command is image SC. The SC stands for scaling. And just write the matrix you would like to display in brackets. When running that, a window pops up where the intensity, that is the value, is displayed in false color. So this one is this element, two, this one, three, this one, and so on. Let's just check that whether that would change when the matrix is three times four. Yes, the matrix uh, or the display of the matrix is uh, changed here with the same number, the 4, uh, displayed with the same color. To know which color represents which value, just type in color bar. And on the right hand side of the image, uh, the bar is popping up where you can see that uh, the blue is represented, uh, the dark blue is, uh, represents the value 1 and the yellow the um, 7. Um, whether you would like to have these colors or any other sort of color is basically up to you and you can change that as in this MRI scan of my brain. Uh, you wouldn't know what, uh, whether the dark means high intensity or low. There are a few predefined things uh, which are called color map or color maps. Uh, for instance, the standard setting is jet. That goes from deep blue to um, deep red and that is the color coding. Um, by changing this one, the color map, for instance, to gray, the image, the matrix, is displayed in, not surprising, um, in gray scales. There are a few uh, predefined settings. Uh, look that up in the help of the command color or color ma map. Uh, the only color codings I use usually are uh, these jet gray. I'm quite like cool sometimes at least, giving that in bluish uh, pink colors and hot. Okay, the, let's change back to the standard setting of this jet which um, have, has a big range um, from blue to red. Uh, whether you would like to have this scaling, that is the whole range here between 0 and 7 or any other, you could define, you can change by fiddling in a few numbers here. Um, basically the lower value and the higher one, um, let's say from 0 to 20 in brackets. It's similar to the uh, axis command for the plot command. In this case, all the, the range is between 0 and 20 and therefore all the other the values um, are um, in the bluish range. Try that out. 
let's say from zero and well, let's go to five and you will find out that the display how the values appear uh, is changed okay uh, next thing uh, there are a few different ways to um, plot data and um, we'll just take an example by creating a matrix with a bit more interesting data okay this example is just a matrix 40 times 50 with the values generated from a sine or cosine function and the uh, i over phi is just some uh, arbitrary uh, scaling that we uh, have uh, nice data so when running the whole thing we'll just get a larger matrix with lots of numbers we wouldn't like to look at that however when plotting the thing with image sc we'll get this plot and that looks already more interesting so we have in one direction the 50 values of the parameter j and in the other the 40 values of i um, just check that the first one is here in the upper left corner and that is sometimes uh, a bit confusing and even some in matlab uh, some commands make uh, change that for some strange reasons to have the first value either in the upper right corner or in the lower one. Um, okay, uh, are there any other different ways to plot these uh, data? Yes, and let's have a look at that and we'll display the whole thing in uh, different subplots uh, that we can spot easily spot the differences so in the first subplot we have this image image with the color coding as seen before that is we can even have a color bar here on the right hand side we could actually switch off that just to finish that uh, switch off the axis if you like off or on but uh, i was going to show a different settings uh, how to display the uh, data um, sometimes it's better to show the data as a what is called contour plot just contour followed by the matrix and then the same data is um, showing up in this way that is the colors represent the high values and all the lines uh, connect areas where MATLAB things or where the value is the same or in a certain range you can change that how many lines um, uh, there are try uh, that out by pressing help contour another way to display data <coughs> is what is called a surface plot So that gives this image where it's a three-dimensional representation with the i and j or x and y axis and the values here in the third dimension. And it's quite neat that you can even change all these, um, the display, rotate the whole thing by uh, pressing here this button up there. So try that out and play with it. 
quite often you would like to read and write and display images of a predefined format like a JPEG or bitmap or whatever. And there are a few simple um, commands in MATLAB that you can um, work with that. Let's have a look at that. In the directory where MATLAB has access to, there's this image, for instance. That's an old wood caving. Um, actually, it's not that old from the 19th century, though quite a few people thought it's from medieval times, representing us, you and me, going to new worlds by <laughs> typing in a few MATLAB uh, commands. So it has defined regions of blue, greenish colors, yellow and red. And we would like to display that in MATLAB. So let's start with reading in this JPEG um, image. The command is im read, not surprising, followed by the name of the file, in this case universum.jpg. When reading that in, a lot of numbers pop in many, many uh, a value. So it's better to just write that into a variable, let's call that b, and look at the size of b. b has got the dimension 600 times 700, 700 times 3 values. So 600 times 770 is the image, basically that would be the image, and there are three colors in uh, the JPEG format for red, green and blue. So that might be uh, or could be thought of like a book with just three pages for red, green and third page blue. Up to now we just uh, worked with, in most cases, with two-dimensional matrices. It's the same with three-dimensional matrix, uh, with a three-dimensional matrix. We can display the image by just pressing, as before, image scb. And let's have a look at the result, the image pops up. So the color code in this case is actually the three uh, red, green, blue um, values and uh, it's a predefined setting how the values in this three-dimensional matrix is coded into a color. That depends on the uh, format, in this case this JPEG. Uh, so it's a bit different from what we uh, used um, to plot in the previous uh, with the previous matrix. So let's look at that by plotting this figure just in the upper right subplot and extract from B the different colors. Let's say the red color is in the matrix, just the first sheet, and we can extract that by taking all values in the first dimension, all values in the second, and just take the first in the third. That is the size of red. Let's have a look what it um, gives, what's telling us is just 600 times 770. And in this case we've got an image where only the red color is um, showing up. So we could display that in the second subplot by um, pressing, by uh, writing image as C the red values. Let's run that. 
And now, and that's sometimes a bit confusing, you still have a color-coded image. However, that is just the value of the uh, red intensity. Um, by adding the color bar here, we'll see the red color is high with where the uh, yellow color show, is showing up. And it's actually higher here than where the red value uh, is showing here in this um, image. Uh, that depends on the relative values of red, green, blue. So we could just um, repeat the whole thing for green and blue. Second one is green. Okay, I just scribbled in the few lines here for the green and blue colors and displaying the whole thing again. Um, okay, and we now have the color representations of the different um, in of this JPEG for red, green and blue. So make sure that you really understand how the color coding works, that it depends the display, how it shows up, whether it's a JPEG bitmap or whatever format, and uh, how that is linked to the intensities of the different colors. That might be uh, a bit confusing first, but after a while, I think you will notice that it's easy to work with that. And in a similar way, the brain image of this MRI scan um, are displayed. We just need to read in the data and um, plot that. Okay, and I hope you'll find that um, useful when working with large matrices, whether it's a real image or just some data that displaying and looking at the matrix in this color coding is helpful and we will make use of that for sure. See you soon.